This is question number three. We're told the diagram shows a triangle ABC. The lengths of AC and BC are five centimeters and six centimeters respectively. The area of triangle ABC is 12.5 centimeters squared and angle ACB is obtuse. In part A for three marks, we're asked to find the size of angle ACB, giving our answer to the nearest 0 0.1 degree. Let's look at the area of a triangle. All I'm going to do is a quick sketch and we'll now write down on here A, B and C. So what I'm going to have is side length A, side length B and an enclosed angle C. If we have this triangle, we can say that the area will be equal to one half A, B, sine C. So let's look at the information that we've got. We're told that this is an obtuse angle. So in this question, we need to be a little careful. I'm just going to write in the area, which is 12.5. That's going to be equal to one half. Then I'm going to have A times by B. Five times by six multiplied now by the sine of the angle C. So this is 30, 30 over 2 is 15, so we can say 12.5 over 15 will be equal to sine C. Just looking at this fraction, we could simplify. If we divide the numerator and the denominator by 2.5, that's going to give me 5 over 6. I'm going to just draw a quick sketch of the sine curve. So if we do that, what we'll have is something that looks like this. So we've got our axes. We know that this has a maximum value of 1, a minimum value of minus 1, and will look something like so. We've got this point here. This is 0 degrees, and this is going to be 180 degrees. If I run a line at the point where our function is equal to 5 sixes, we will have something that looks like this. So what I'm going to have is an angle just here. And I'm going to have one the same value back from 180. This is now the ambiguous case of the sine rule. So I can now find the value of the first angle. So we can say C will be equal to the inverse sine. We're working in degrees of 5 over 6. If I do that on a calculator, making sure I'm in degrees mode, shift mode 3. I'll take the inverse sine of 5 divided by 6. That gives me the angle here of 56.4. So if I just put that one on here, 56.4. Therefore, this one is going to be 180 minus the 56.4. We know that this graph is symmetric about the line now that x is equal to 90 degrees. So if I do that now, let's do 180 minus this value we're going to have an answer of 123.55 and so on and so forth. So what I'm going to just do is write this here. C is equal to 180 minus the 56.4 dot 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 and so on and so forth. Therefore, we can say that C is going to be equal to, and we need to give this to the nearest 0 0.1 degree, that's going to be 123.6. So 123.6 degrees, and that now is to 0 0.1 degree. So just put in that in, and we've done that part right here. In part B, we're asked to find the length of AB, giving our answer to two significant figures. So we want this length just here. The question carries three marks. So my little sketch now, I've got the enclosed angle, and I've got two known side lengths. I'm going to use the cosine rule for this. So we know that this angle just here is the 123.6, which is stored in my calculator. So 123.5, dot, 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 and so on and so forth. We know that this side length is 5. This one right here is going to be 6. I'm just going to call this length here A, just so it makes it easier with the cosine rule. We can say that A will be equal to the square root of B squared plus C squared minus 2BC cos A. So all I'm doing is simply saying that this is going to be A, this is going to be B, and this is going to be C. You can, of course, use the letters given in the triangle. I just think it's easier to do this. 
You also might have a squared is equal to b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cos a. I've just put it as the square root. So what we're going to have then, and of course this is the positive square root, a is going to be the square root now of 5 squared, which is going to give me 25, plus 6 squared, which is 36, minus 2 lots of a 5, multiplied now by the 6, multiplied by the cosine of my angle, which is going to be 123.5 dot 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 that's stored in the calculator. So let's go ahead and do that and get our value of a. So in the calculator, we're going to have now the square root of 25 plus 36 minus now 2 times by 5 times by 6 times by the cosine of the answer that I have in the calculator. So that's going to give me now 9.703. So let's write this down. a is equal to 9.703. And then we've got 9.703970. So 7039 dot dot dot. We need to give this to two significant figures. So we're going to have A is equal to 9.7. And we're working now in centimetres. So we need to add the units. I've used the stored value in the calculator. You can, of course, use your answer from the last part that was rounded to 0 0.1.